Welcome back. Last night, Kelly Dudzik brought us the story of this man, a Western New York movie fan whose friends were trying to help him see the upcoming Godzilla movie before he passed away. This morning, unfortunately, we learned that George Root died and Kelly Dudzik is here with more tonight. Kelly, we were planning to do a version of your story at midday today and found yeah. out about his passing just as we were on the air. So sad. I know. So if you joined us at 10 and 11 o'clock last night, you saw George's story and how the owner of the transit drive in one of his very good friends was trying to make his movie wish come true. Rick Cohen is the owner of the transit drive in. He's been friends with George for about 20 years and they bonded through their love of movies. George was diagnosed with stage four kidney cancer and he was being treated at Roswell Park. He'd been battling it for about five years, but over the weekend, George ended up in the ICU. And when Rick visited him on Monday, he asked Rick if he could get an early screening of Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Problem is, that movie doesn't come out until May. George loved all of the Godzilla movies. He even had a Godzilla poster in his hospital room. And Rick has connections in the film industry, so he started working on trying to get the movie before it comes out. And since it isn't driving weather, the North Park Theater in Buffalo stepped up and offered a space for a private screening. Rick confirmed the news of George's death with us this morning and understandably, understandably did not want to be interviewed today, but he posted this message on Facebook that's being shared by a lot of you tonight. It says in part, George would have loved to hear Godzilla roar one more time, but his illness had other plans. George will always be a cherished member of the drive-in, and we will be honoring his memory in accordance with the wishes of his family at the appropriate time. Last night, Rick told us that George's family has requested that his memorial service be held at the drive-in. Oh, wow. Yeah, he isn't sure yet if it's going to be public or private, but it just shows you how big of a movie fan George was, and the drive-in was a huge part of his life, Michael. Yeah, I know a couple of months from now when that movie comes out, so many people are going to be thinking about him as they are able to go watch and it. And there probably, and there should be a tribute to him at that time. All right, I we'll think. keep on it. Kelly, yeah. thank you very much.